What's up everyone? Jason here. So it's a beautiful Sunday morning over here in Southern California. Sun's up, the wind is blowing, so I do apologize if you hear that. We're finally going to be doing the shooting video of my one of one, yeah, green acid wash ultra shocker. Now this is the XLS model, okay, just a heads up. We are using the Bunker King Control Hopper. We are using the infamous, infamous Skeleton Air 80 cubic inch, 4500 PSI. The tank is output pressure at 500 PSI. So it is a mid-range tank, so keep that in mind. The bore size we're gonna be using today, and the bore size does come with this model, yeah, is a 687, okay? So we are gonna be shooting some APX. It's not tournament grade, but it's one grade down. It's usually what my the local field always has in stock, and I've never had problems with it. So as always, if you've seen any of my other videos, we always, we love helping you. We do this for y'all. Definitely subscribe and like the video. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. So let's go ahead and start this. We'll go ahead and shoot some over the chronograph. Make sure that we're right in the ballpark. Now keep in mind my local field maximum BPS is 280. So I usually keep my markers below that. Okay. And um, we're going to go ahead and hook up the almighty sound meter and get some readings from that too. So with that, without further ado, let's do this. Okay. So the next thing, definitely mask on. Even if you're just horsing around in the backyard, definitely wear your mask, ladies and gentlemen. It is a safety thing. Okay, there's that. So first things first, let's go ahead and chrono this bad boy. 270 for the first shot. 262, 273, 261. Little all over the place right now. Luckily this isn't on the field. This is just a shooting video. So I'm not too concerned about that. It also could be that this paint is about two weeks old. So it might've gotten a little dimple. I do apologize for that. So now let's go ahead and check the sound quality. Now, of course, like I said, this is using the Freak XL 687 with the American tip, okay? 77.9, 83.6, Now, of course, we are outside. I do live next to a major road, so it does pick that up. We just do the sound meter just for fun. Remember, when you're playing in the, when you're playing live, everything's gonna be noisy. Everything's gonna be making noise, so. Not really too concerned, but overall, very smooth marker. Let's go ahead and do this. Flawless. Now this is set up to only 12.5 semi only, and it is cap. That is the rule on my local field. So there we go. We'll go ahead and do some left hand, I mean some right hand shooting now, I apologize. Now, of course, the one thing I always like to show is barrel rise. So let's go ahead. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my hand on the bottom of the tank. And we're just going to shoot with one finger and then pay attention to the tip of the barrel. So we are seeing about half an inch rise. That's pretty normal on most payphone markers. It's just the kinetic energy of everything. But overall... Still amazing. Just keep shooting. Loads of fun. And oh, what well, we do have some. Oh, and we finally chopped one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take everything for the precaution for safety. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we finally did the shooting video of my shocker. Now stay tuned, because the next video we will be doing, I'll go ahead and we will be installing the Tech T bolt and doing the same thing, checking the sound signature, seeing if it got quieter and if the FPS does increase without having to make an adjustment. 
Thank you, as always, for watching. Like I said in earlier in the video, check us out on Facebook, definitely Instagram, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much. This is Jason Wright.